Tide leaders are turning to several options to address homelessness, from temporary pallet shelters to repurposing former motels. One woman hopes technology can help. People at a university believe in her app idea so much that some of their students are helping her build it. That's why I'm saying good for her. I think that um, bringing things back full circle is very important to my journey. Anytime Tip Farmer visits this block, it's like coming home. Greensboro is where I started my career as a creative. Um, it's where I connect. I was an artist manager for over 15 years. I started right here in Walker Avenue. Her career as a creative consultant has landed her jobs across the country. Yet there's something special about being back in the Gate City. I always find the, the best inspiration from Greensboro. For what appears to be her biggest venture yet. Once you have the vision, you know, anything is possible. As a tech consultant, Tip helps businesses find creative ways to solve problems. One day, a prospective client asked her a question that would stretch her imagination. Now, how would I solve global homelessness? If I'm able to be a creative problem solver, how would I solve such a big issue as this? A tough question. She was willing to challenge herself to answer. I did my research, and from my research, I was able to basically invent this idea of a cloud-based software that would be installed into self-service kiosk that would provide wireless connection for the unhoused to communicate uh, with government agencies and uh, community resources. That's the foundation of her tech company, Tunnel Light Solutions. The Tunnel Light kiosk would connect people experiencing homelessness with real-time assistance for both immediate and long-term needs. When I did my research, I realized that the waiting times for Housing First, um, the average waiting time can take up to two and a half years. So with Tunnel Light, I'm hoping to address uh, some of the basic needs that people need, you know, such as warm clothing. Um, you may need uh, hygiene products. And, you know, if I was unhoused or I was living on, I would want food right now. Tip says following the prompts and questions on the kiosk would especially help people who don't have access to the internet or aren't sure how to use it. Everyone doesn't have Google skills, you know, like some, you don't know where to start sometimes. Once participants enter their information, the data will be saved into the system and AI technology will help develop the best response based on that person's circumstances. What may be an issue in Seattle or what may be an issue in LA is not the same issue that's going to be in Greensboro. But with Tunnel Light, we'll be able to analyze with this data that we're collecting um, so that uh, we can have better government spending on and actually nail down and get to the root of the problem for each individual. Then once we collect that historical data, we'll know that, you know, when you have these characteristics, then we can predict the best solution in their area. Tip's vision is closer to becoming a finished product. Her idea got the attention of people at the University of Central Florida. She presented it to about 50 students during the summer semester and was invited back in the fall to share it with 300 students. The senior design team is now building her project. And then this semester, um, we are doing the building and the coding and the designing of the actual interface, and it should be completed in April. And of all the things Tip has been able to accomplish in her career, she's excited that this project is different. I've always been driven by my passion. Uh, but now I feel like I'm being driven by purpose. And once the app is finished, Tip says the focus will be on bringing awareness to what the app does and getting the right people involved. The goal is for Tunnel Light to be available globally.